In today's video, we're searching Walmart for the brand new Chaos Mystery Box. I am here at Walmart, and according to Sylveon on my Discord, there is a new Chaos Mystery Box today. So first of all, go check out the Discord because then you can alert me on certain things like that and hang out with all the awesome people that are there. Second of all, Chaos Mystery Box. Apparently they're only 10 bucks. Usually they're more expensive than that, so they did a cheaper version this time. I'm hoping Walmart has stuff so we can open them up today. I'm also feeling a little under the weather. That's why I sound a little weird. So we gotta get the box though. We gotta get the mystery box. Lots of good stuff. And there's what we're looking for. The chaos box. 9.98, so very cheap. Hey, I just need to get some of the cards back there. I can back there. Okay. First trip success. That's always a great day to drive through the first Walmart. They have everything you need. So let's get home and open these things up, see if they're any good, because they're probably. All right, guys, we're back. We have gotten four Chaos Mystery Boxes. One will be given away to you, so make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Are these worth the $10 price tag, or do they suck? Okay, there's really only one way to find out, so I'm gonna be opening three, one will be given away to you guys, as I just said. So we have a $30 price tag, and we're gonna open all these up and see if we get $30 back, otherwise, they suck. Okay, I'm just kidding. They don't have to make your money back to be like decent, but we're gonna see if they're decent as well. Okay, before we actually start cracking into one, let's take a look at them. So at the front, they are advertising the IP Mascarena card sleeves. That's cool. They love selling IP Mascarena, especially in three different starlights. Then we have Dawn of Majesty. Not exactly an exciting chase because pretty old pack, everything's been reprinted in it, including the Starlight Stardust. So there's not really that much to get excited about there. Then we have Dark Saviors, a set that's been in every mystery product. If these are the ones they're advertising, I'm not feeling too good about this. After last time though, in the monster box, when they were like advertising, what was it? Hidden Arsenal chapter one. I guess this is a step up. It's impossible to be worse than that, but uh, we'll see. So they have two booster packs, one light pack. So I'm guessing that's like a legendary duelist or something. And then 150 count sleeves. So any, okay, what about the back? We got the dogmatic Ecclesia sleeves. Yep, there's the legendary duelist. It's magical hero. So that's probably the best light pack you can get, but still it's a light pack with so three cards. Flames of destruction, first ed. Uh, hopefully it's actually first ed. Normally they're unlimited in these boxes then hidden summoners is it's iffy it's not amazing i will say the uh packaging on these chaos boxes goes pretty hard so they do have a great look to them the previous chaos boxes were like 25 bucks so i guess they decided to go with the cheaper version this is a lot like those other mystery boxes they had around the same price point i think i have one let me find it Okay, they did a couple in this same structure. This one seems like it's the exact same size box. Not a chaos box, it's just a regular mystery box. The question is though, are these made by the same company? I'm guessing they are. We have MJ Holding and MJ Holding. So they're just basically repackaged, rebranded, and it looks like these are probably worse. Though if you get sleeves for 10 bucks, not totally sure, because these were cool because they had good selection of packs like Duelist Alliance and Invasion of Chaos and stuff, but interested to see how these go. Okay, so just pull those out for fun. Let's open these up and see, is this, remember it's only 10 bucks. So there's not really that expensive compared to a lot of their mystery products. MJ holding, not usually a good reputation for having great products. So I'm not expecting too much here, but you never know. I think they had those blue ones too with the, the, the white sleeves that everybody liked. So those were actually decent because those sleeves were actually fire. I think those were 10 bucks too. So we'll see if these are as good. So let's start off with the sleeves. We have the IP Masquerade card sleeves. We'll be looking these up to see like what the value is. I'm guessing around five bucks. So that's half your value right off the bat. So honestly, like not horrible. And IP Masquerade is probably some of the best sleeves you can get in terms of not necessarily quality because I hear that these do not actually go that well. You have to like double sleeve them to make sure they don't fall apart. But people like IP Masquerade. OK, so next pack we have. This feels like the light pack, which is a magical hero packs. So not surprising. These are in the cubes pretty often. At least they're not bent like they are when they're in the cubes. All right. At least they're not like that. OK, let's see. We have the halfway to forever automata para and you basically never get a foil out of here. The only time I've gotten a good card was when it was bent. And it wasn't even a good card. It was just an ultra. It was a bad card that was an ultra. OK, so that's probably a dollar pack at most. So maybe six bucks uh, un like unopened uh, total for everything we have. Then we have Tactical Masters, first edition at least. Not a horrible pack. It does have Labyrinth stuff and stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's a pack trick on Tactical Masters. We have Runic Slumber. Could get a collector rare and really like do pretty well with this with $10 box, you know, but then collector rares are pretty rare. One in 72. 
and you most likely will get a Valence World Super Rare, which is worth basically nothing. So, so far we've gotten zero dollars on our pulls. That's not surprising. Though a Tactical Masters pack is probably a two dollar pack, two fifty something like that. And then we have, okay, oh it's unlimited. <laughs> I was about to say, Power of the Elements, this is good. And then I remember they did an unlimited wave of this set, so probably not fantastic. Though, I will say, the sealed value probably does end up at 10 bucks here. It's just not $10. You, like, if you had $10, you probably wouldn't pick these to actually buy, other than maybe the sleeves. Melfi Penny, we have Tears of the Overroot. Moki Moki Adrift. Whoa, Moki Moki got a retrain in there? How do I not remember that? That's kind of sick. Mary Melfi's, we have Vernisliff. Crawler. Hydrolander Orbit and oh, a Therion Irregular. We got an Ultra. Okay. Can't be mad. Ultra Rare is very nice. So, hey, we pulled something. That is not the worst that's ever happened on a mystery box. So, okay. All right. Let's see if there's any variance in these because a lot of times they'll just be the same pack. So, will we get anything different or will it all be? I got to be careful. People are going to freak out when they see the knife for multiple reasons. They'll say, oh, no. You're going to cut yourself. Oh, no. Your knife needs to be sharpened. Yada, yada. Which I actually did sharpen that one and it's actually been way better. Okay, uh, sleeves. Anything different this time? Okay, we got the Ecclesia sleeves. So we got both that are advertised on the box. Both pretty good. Well, technically not just Ecclesia. What is this guy? Albaz? Yeah, Ecclesia and Albaz. Got another magical hero. So there has been a little variance. Different sleeves. We can't complain about that. Will we get... How about a Magician Soul out of a light pack? That'd be unreal. It'd be like pulling a Starlight. We have Doppel Warrior. We have Wing Karibo. And we have... Automata pickup. Didn't we get that last time? <laughs> Wait. No, we did. We got auto wizard, wizard dragon. Wizard, you're a wizard, Harry. Okay. Two packs left. We have. Oh! First Dead Battles of Chaos! A real pack that I'm excited about. Wow, that's actually sweet. Okay. All right. Chaos, chaos box, you're moving up. You're moving up. Why isn't that on the front? That'd be way more exciting than all these other crappy ones. We have Dynamorphia. Dynamorphia Shell. Maybe they're like, they want you to think it sucks, so you get excited when you pull something like average, like kind of like right now. Some more. <laughs> so it's like reverse psychology. They know I'm going to, like, the YouTubers are going to get it. It's like, oh, this is garbage. So they put the worst possible thing so that we can then pull something good. We have Dynamorphia Brute, or something average. We have Sinri, and we get excited. We have Fire Opal, Ghost Trick Siren, and Libromancer, Magic Girl. I bet Battles of Chaos is probably a $3 pack, maybe $4. Okay, last pack in the second Chaos Mystery Box is Hidden Summoners this time, which is not horrible. Okay, it's first edition, too. I like to see when they're first dead. It's better when they're first dead than when they're not. So it looks like there's one side set, one core set, and one light pack is what we've gotten so far. Ritual Forgone. Circle of the Fire Kings. I don't even know what's in this set. Oh, it's the, all the Nephthys stuff. Defender of Nephthys. And a secret rare. What in the world? It's a Miyakashi. Suchigumo, the poisonous Miyakashi. It's the level five or the Synchro 5 Miyakashi. Okay, sure. I don't think that's a great card, but I, we got Battles of Chaos that time. That's a lot better than an unlimited pot, I think. All right, last Chaos box. This has been fun. It's been fun. Uh, we had a slight surprise of something decent, man. It is hard to open these. Sometimes they're wrapped over the edge, sometimes they're not. So you got to like find where it is. So it's kind of hard to see through the camera and I'm kind of dangerous. Okay. So far, first one, I was not impressed. Second one, I was, uh, it, it was like impressed by default because it was something decent. Okay, we'll see. Will it be terrible? Will it be decent? Will it possibly be good? Probably not. Let's see, Mascarena or Dogmatica? Okay, Ecclesia. So we have $15 in sleeves probably there, so that's going to help. Uh, where's our mini pack? I guess it's all Magical Hero, which if you're going to pick a light pack, it's not a bad one to have. Light packs are all bad, though, because you never pull anything. Okay, and uh, I say that, maybe we'll pull something now like a Magician Souls. Illusion Magic, we have Quick Draw Synchron. Okay, that's cool. And... Hey, we pulled something! <laughs> Elemental Hero Neos. It's only a super, but... Honest Neo, sorry. But pulling super out of a light pack is actually very, very hard. So I will take it. I am not mad at an honest Neos. Or should I say I'm honestly not mad? But um, okay. All right, uh, two packs. Let's do this one first. Oh, another Battles of Chaos. Cool. You guys know I love Battles of Chaos. This is like targeted at me. It's like, oh yeah, we know Ruxin likes Battles of Chaos. We'll put these in here. Okay, one, two, three, four. If we get the Dark Magician or a Starlight, I'm freaking out. We have Imprint Intrusion. Top share, no Ruxin special, with Agent of Destruction. Monster Rebirth. Dynamorphia Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. We have Eurodora Fate, Clear New World. Skilled Brown Magician, and Ice Jade, Azreen, Agreen, Agarine. Is this the Ice Jade that's actually like seven bucks or is that a different one? Because there's one Ice Jade that's actually like seven dollars in an Ultra, which is amazing for Ice Jade cards. Okay, last pack, uh, what's it gonna be? How about Dark Saviors at, maybe. 
Oh, it's Dawn of Magic. So we got two core sets. This feels like a Euro pack too. UK. I, I'm assuming that means United Kingdom right there. Or that that could just mean something else, but I'm pretty sure this is a UK pack because this does not feel like the ones I've opened. First, it will be able to know from the cards. I, I'd take a Starlight Start. Yeah, this is definitely Euro. Okay. I'd take a Starlight Stardust. I would not be mad. We have tr uh, Try Mid Loading. Match Key Unlocking. Rux and Special. Chronomaly. Esperanza Glyph. Jar of Generosity. We have Gaia Armor Dragon Shell. Magic majestic not magic specter absorption if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel also let me know down below do these mystery boxes suck or are they good we have cosmic slicer we have despia and we have the despian proskineon okay overall very cheap mystery boxes so there's not like a ton to lose if you buy them they do have a couple like really the battles of chaos is cool dawn of majesty is not great some of the packs in here aren't great light packs not really worth anything getting sleeves for half your value back is pretty nice so if i had to like rate these out of 10 i'd say this is like a 5 out of 10 like it's not the worst mystery box i've ever seen it's also not very good like there's not a lot of high roll chances i guess you could pull battles of chaos get a starlight or something but or get a stardust dragon or something like that but honestly not something i'd super recommend but if you want to have a little bit of fun they're only 10 so there's at least that going for it. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadum, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.